seen the Logan Paul Floyd fight? Yeah, I did. What I do you just, think? Oh man, I think I think it portrays more into a Joe's. You ever, you ever seen the show Joe's vs Pros? No. So Joe's vs Pros show, right? To make it clear and simple, everyone know who LT is, Lawrence Taylor, the outside linebacker for the New York Giants. Take him, right? He's the pro, and he's competing against in any athletic uh, challenge that they have there on that show. He's competing against a Joe. A Joe could be someone like me and you, someone that played college football, or someone that someone that you know have the credentials of being a great athlete in high school at the college level, or maybe they even went to the league, but they they didn't they yeah. they weren't successful. Mm -hmm. Those are the Joes. When I started watching that fight, that's the first thing that came to my head. I'm like, yo, this is a Joe versus pro, and this is what boxing is moving into. Entertainment, let's have celebs fight. This is how we're going to get the most money, the most advertisement in there. And I'm like, wow, this is exactly, so, exactly what boxing is going to so, turn into. So a Joe's versus pro. I actually had this conversation, and I, I don't think, because number one, we can all agree that Floyd fight, with Logan Paul, Logan, right? Yeah, boringest fight I've ever don't, don't watched say in that. my life. Don't say that. Don't say that. What do you mean? You can't say that. And that's, this is this is another problem I have with people that are coming out and saying it's boring. No, that I, fight was boring. That fight was not entertaining. There was not one ooh moment at all. But but do we know why though? Everyone should know why. Why? It's Floyd fighting. Here's my thing. Right. I we have people, mind you, we have people older than us. We 24, 25 years old, bro. I a little kid I heard about Floyd. I probably watched a fight with Floyd, but don't remember. Okay. The only th fights I remember with Floyd is Manny Pacquiao, McGregor, and this last fight. You got people on social media now posting shit saying, yo, this 20 years older than us, 10, 10 years older than us, 20 years older than us. This fight was boring. It's a waste of my money. Well, you guys experienced Floyd through his whole career, and me personally, only seeing three fights of Floyd, I already knew who he was getting involved with. Floyd yeah, is a defensive boxer. And it's he wasn't even doing great defense. That's my thing. What Logan Paul just couldn't hit him because he's not a good boxer. Nope. But to okay, so th this is my thing, right? This is my thing, and I actually had this discussion with Tyree. Tyree gets a lot of shout outs on the show. For shout reason. out to Tyree, but King Resos in the me building. We always chop it up good when we talk, but. This very same discussion. So, to your point of saying that eventually boxing is going to go into the celebrity versus pros, maybe celebrity on celebrity, if Jay-Z and Kanye wanted to fight each other, hey, a lot of people are going to pay for that, right? Correct? For now. Maybe for a year, maybe for two. Who knows how, how long it's going to be. Because one thing I realized with the Floyd and the Logan fight is that it was boring, right? It was boring, and I don't even think you would watch it again if they did it this week. No, if that you heard, okay, a rematch is going on this weekend. All right, what's going on? Is the basketball game on? I'd rather watch uh, a Spider Mitchell put 40 on the Clippers. I'd rather watch Homeboy from the Suns do a number on whoever the fuck they're playing. My point is, with the celebrity shit, the value is continuously going to go down. And what makes fights the entertainment value? This is the example I use. The NFL, to simply put, is the best football players in the world playing football. If Tom Brady was hurt and Aaron Rodgers was hurt and Patrick Mahomes was hurt, it wouldn't change a thing. It would still be as popular. Somebody else would be, three other people would be the top three football players in the league. And the league would go on. What happens if you... Now, I want to be clear with what I'm saying. I know sometimes I go really fast. It's the best players in the world playing against each other. What happens if there's an asteroid or Thanos snaps his finger and Malcolm is now the best running back on the planet? Your current skill set, your current shape, but you are the best running back on the planet. You are now the Adrian Peterson of the world. And they decide, okay, let's put a league together and have Malcolm, whoever it is, whoever the best 30 running backs is, but they're all D3 level, uh, college level running backs. Would people, if you put them in the same uniforms, Browns, Patriots, Chief, Eagles, you give them the same coaches. Would people still pay to watch Peyton Miller? 
no disrespect. It's, it's not being disrespectful. It's just like a, 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 um, a thing where people pay to watch you at running back in the NFL. No, they would not because the, the entertainment level is going to go so far down and be like, this is not worth watching. This is not even the same sport. You guys would look different, even though you would be the best running back in the league. It would not look entertaining. If you understand what I'm saying, that was a long winded. No, I understand what you're saying. But th- this is like I said, this is the problem. I feel like people don't understand understand how Floyd boxes now Floyd is a defensive boxer what how what defense skills did he use to portray his defense is he Floyd was out of shape you can say but listen you gotta I, he's going against his biggest opponent ever the dude is six one, one eighty something a healthy young Floyd would have washed him a healthy young Floyd would have would have would have knocked him. him out yet again when he fought Manny Pacquiao those are the best two and they fought yeah. what did people say they went the full 12 rounds. That was a boring fight. That was a waste of my money. Why? Because no one got knocked out. Manny Pacquiao tagged him up a little bit. Well, what did Floyd do? Tag him up a little bit and and um dodge most of his punches. I, so I 1,000% get what you're saying, but you cannot put the Floyd Manny Pacquiao. And I don't think... I understand what you're saying. The words are the same, but the heart and the meaning behind those two exact same, same statements, which it was... The Floyd and Manny fight was boring. Does not even exist on the same world of the Floyd 44. Nigga all of a sudden has a beard fighting a dude who's never fought professionally before. What'd you expect Out of happen? shape. Uh, I expected maybe seeing a sharp greatest of all time boxer in the ring versus someone who's big and was a threat to knock him out. And I uh, see neither of those. Um, you don't, this is, yet again, this is Floyd's biggest opponent. You don't think him going like this and inside of Logan Paul where he, Logan Paul, now when he punches him, it's not full force. It is more of, oh, you just tapping my skin. That's not smart defensive uh, it is. technique. I'm not saying that Floyd wasn't smart defensively. But but that's, that's, but that's, that, but that's the entertainment my, of boxing that's right my, there. And that's my point back to the football conversation. You can be as smart as Christian McCaffrey. You're not going to look as entertaining as he is because he runs a 4-3. He probably jumps 10 inches higher than you on one foot. So it's going to look different. So sure, Floyd was doing some smart shit, but it looked sloppy because he was 44 and out of shape. That I'm not going to lie. To me, Floyd, Floyd, it's a Joes versus pros, same thing. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Like I stated before, Floyd... Floyd is the master boxer. He came there, do- he dodged some of his shots. That's entertaining. He punched him in his face a few times. That's entertaining. Logan Paul, Logan Paul is the reason of the whole thing of, of it being born. He hugged him. Why did he hug Another Floyd? Because Be- he's not a boxer. It's not that he's not a boxer. Floyd is too close to him. No, no, no. He was tired. Yes, but Floyd was way too close to him. How how what other ways can we separate? I hug you, the ref separates. I us bet you let's Floyd get close to that. Time. Let Floyd get close to that with a professional boxer his size. He will get knocked out. And that's exactly but that's, that's not point. how he he's, fights. He's not a boxer. That's my point about Logan. Yes, I understand Floyd was close, but he's not a fighter. That's why he was hugging. No, 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 no. Oh, a different wait, well, you said the same size you mean the same size as Logan? Same, yes. Oh, okay. Nah, because if Mike Tyson Muhammad Ali fought, it would be the same thing. You, what you think? Mike Tyson would, would get them? Mike Tyson would go into Muhammad Ali that close. They're not gonna. Why would he no, be no, no. I'm that saying, far I'm away? Saying, I'm saying you're saying that F- Logan was hugging Floyd because he was inside of him, and I'm saying if Floyd does that to a professional boxer, Logan pulls his size, he would get knocked out. He would get beat up very. He wouldn't even go that close. He would not walk down a six one. 230 pounds professional boxer. Floyd wouldn't do that. Yeah, he and wouldn't do that to like um, we what's have to DeAndre put a name Holder. To it. We don't have to put a name to it. Any professional boxer. Any professional but, boxer. But but that that is that is, he 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 would do that though. That is a technique on reason why. That is a good technique he did on a big opponent. That's the biggest opponent he did. Exactly. But okay, I agree. I agree. And I want to get stuck on my point because a lot of people thought it was entertaining, just like you did. Yeah. I just think, let's put this fight, let's say the fight was entertaining, right? And there was certainly some entertaining factors to it. Seeing Jake Paul at the side, chitting his brother on, that was hilarious. Yeah. Desus and Mero did a great job at uh, 
at, at uh announcing announcing. If, I was hey, thinking about him, this. Bro. We know about Jim Blandley. We know about Larry Merce. Like, is the fact that these celebrity <laughs> boxing matches are becoming a thing? And Snoop Dogg did it. We fell in love with Snoop Dogg. Now, Desus and Merrill announced the fight. We fell in love with them. Is it? I wonder if those guys feel like, number one, they're disrespecting the sport by allowing these comedians or just celebrities to announce fights. And I wonder if it threatens their bottom line because maybe Larry Merce and Jim Lantley are the best at technically breaking down a fight for you. But maybe we know we live in a microwave society. Everything is about entertainment. Hey, fuck it. I want um, Snoop Dogg to commentate yeah. Wilder versus um, the big white boy, the gypsy. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather how much that's fun because it's entertainment at the end of the day. Yeah. Nah, you know what it is. They got to compete.